everyone, welcome back. It's me, Vanita. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hang a heavy mirror. So this is the mirror that I want to hang and this weighs about 9.6 kilos and it has got back hook, one on each side. So I can't use any screws just because it will be visible from the top. So I basically need to hide uh, the screws as well. So I need to choose the right screws which will be hidden behind the mirror and which can which we can only see the mirror which looks more appealing than having you know a bit of screws which will be visible on the top. So I visited Bunnings and have shopped around multiple screws and I found these ones which are bare claw hanger hook and it can support these type of screws. <laughs> so the ones which I have are exactly similar to this. So I have chosen this one and so this is the type of screw. So it has got like uh, two different ends um, which gives you a hint up to what length you need to actually drill into the wall. These screws hold up to 45 kilos if there is a stud but if there is no stud still okay it can hold up to the maximum of 14 to 15 kilos. So since it's only 9.6 kilos I have chosen these screws which will be perfect for hanging this mirror. Let's get started. So first thing is to measure your wall. So this is my space and I want to hang three mirrors here and each mirror is 75 by 75 centimeters. Um, you know, those are the dimensions of the mirrors that I want to hang. So the total length of the wall is 277 centimeters, whereas each mirror is of 75 centimeters length. So what I did is, since I have three mirrors, 75 times a three is 225 centimeters, which is what I have deducted from the total length of the wall, which gave me 52 centimeters. And there are four gaps in between the mirrors or in, in the total wall. So I just simply divided the remaining space by four, which gives me the gap between each mirror. Now that I have done my math, I need to figure out where exactly I need to drill the holes. To do so, I'm using a simple trick. Um, I'm using this masking tape. I've literally cut it based on the size of the mirror and I've just located the holes and I've just made a mark with my pencil and this is the center of the mirror. Now all I do is take this painter's tape or the masking tape onto the wall and drill holes exactly onto this area. So after marking the holes onto this masking tape, I have sticked it onto the wall where, where I want to actually um, put the mirror and uh, I'm using this laser light to make sure that it's an exact straight line. And I have made my markings onto the wall. Now it's time to drill. So to drill this nail, we don't need to make a pilot hole. It can be self-drilled. I need to do six of these. Just follow the same procedure for the rest of the holes. Also, the other things that you can use are these plugs and drywall anchors, depending on the type of your wall. And uh, when you cannot locate a stud or when the screw that you have drilled onto the wall is not secured firmly. So you simply drill a hole and insert the drywall anchor and then simply drill your nail through them to have a very firm grip. I had to do this for a couple of those screws. So now that I have fixed my nails, it's time to hang the beautiful decor. So another thing to consider when you're hanging more than one mirror or one picture frame is that you need to measure the back of the holes uh, with masking tape with every single frame just because uh, they may not be the they may not be located exactly at the same place with these mirrors which are behind me every mirror has 
you know the back hooks at different different uh, lengths so i had to individually measure every single uh, mirror to make sure that um, you know uh, the distance between those holes are equal and they can get easily hang on the wall like many of you i used to be very scared to decorate my walls even though i always wanted to decorate them with different type of wall arts mirrors or any type of decorative things that i wanted to do but always i don't know the information or i don't know what type of screws that i need to use i was very scared because i, I used to think like i'll damage the walls uh, when i hang what if they fall what if the you know the actual um, picture frame gets damaged or what if i you know break the walls so all these things used to be there in my mind and i'm assuming that many of you may have those thoughts in your mind so now you don't need to worry and go ahead and decorate your walls as for your taste because now you have all the information that you need to know so with heavy objects this is how you hang the wall i hope this video helps you a lot in decorating your walls and thank you so much for watching take care